Yeah. Absolutely. A, per a friend with benefits yeah. might be dependable, but they might not necessarily be confident. Or you could have a friend with benefits who is confident. And, but not dependable. Yeah. Come on in. Come Where on in. She not feeling She's though. not here. <laughs> we wrong, but I'm we sorry wrong, to but disappoint it. you. It's just me tonight. <laughs> we wrong with it, but we wrong with it. Okay. Um, all right, cool. So we have balance, uh, I got balance here twice. Okay, anybody else? <laughs> balance is that important? Easy I mean, it's, 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 important. <laughs> it's important. Anything else? So, question for you. Most of y'all in, in, in this room um, are involved in some type of relationship with somebody, whether it's male or female. Why are you still, what makes you, uh, why are you still in a relationship with that person? You want to see where it's going to go? You want to see where it's going to go? Was it a movie? You said what? Was it a movie? Nah, it's not a movie. <laughs> okay. I mean, why? Think about the relationships that you have, and actually that was one of our assign well, our assignment yes. on last week was to um, think about the uh, the commitments or who we have commitments with one another, and why are we why do we evaluate your <clears throat> evaluate your commitments? Mm -hmm. um, so I guess if those of you that was here on last week, we can kind of sort of piggyback and talk about that. I mean, in evaluating your commitments and evaluating your relationships, why are you still in them? Interest. Interest. Comfort. Comfort. Some relationships, you, you want what they got, or they got what you want. So they trying to, they doing good for you because you got what they want, or mm -hmm. they, you got, you know. So how would we put that? So would that be the balance? Maybe that's not balance. That's not balance at all. Cause you can be jealous of somebody and say, I want, I want what they had, mm -hmm. but you're not really saying it. You're just being nice to them because you just want to stay close because they got it. Okay. So what we, what would we call that? Keep your enemies um, close. Envy. Your friends close and keep your enemies closer. If you want something that someone else has. Envy, jealousy, uh, and being you, you using a person. So for for what you can get out of yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. That don't sound like a good thing, but it is. <laughs> you just honest. said that. I mean, people do. Yeah. Why? Why? Why are you still there? Like, if Beyonce was my friend and she wasn't all that cool. Why are you still committed? That's the question. Because mm -hmm. you want something. <laughs> Your mind is just. <laughs> I know. Um. Mm -hmm. For some people, it's familiar. It's like a familiar. Thing. Familiarity. Yeah. So. Sometimes we do things and we stick, hang in there with things because out of familiarity and out of habit. Yeah. Cool. If I, if I am used to talking to my homegirl every single day, it's kind of like brushing your teeth. It's something that you do sometimes without realizing that you do it. Which is something something very, very interesting and something that we have to be very careful about because sometimes we we uh, we find ourselves relying and dependent upon people that we shouldn't be relying and dependent upon. But just because they're there, we know that they're not good for us. But because they're there, we tend to latch on to it. So a habit. Anybody else? Um, evaluate your commitments this week. To be honest, I forgot all about that. Forgot all about, about this, Anna. Yeah, just tell on yourself. Turn, turn the camera. Turn. Turn. So, did you evaluate yours, Shannon? Oh wow, under the bus. No. No. Okay. Um, I would say fear. Fear of, this is not my example, but mm -hmm. fear of that maybe that person will get themselves together. Mm -hmm. And if you let them go now, and then they get themselves together afterwards. Mm -hmm. And what you might be missing. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So it's still like, like, like you, 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 you don't yeah and, and then they finally and get and they play together like, yeah yeah that's, that's yeah you know mm-hmm. so gotcha fear of the unknown yeah um, also you could say the bus. someone who looks out for your best interest huh oh uh, that person helps you grow hmm. Okay. Y'all see that? My handwriting is horrible. That's why I'm not a teacher, but yeah. It's all the same. It's all the same. You can make side points. I mean, did you? Um, so I'm kind of going to stop there and I guess we can have an open discussion from here. And the parallel obviously is not, it's not hard. Um, and I'm going to kind of keep it, I guess, the same way, um, how we normally flow. We generally talk about just for those that are new to the class, we generally talk about things that are happening to us naturally. And then we, um, try to relate that to the word and to our relationship with God. And that's kind of why I, from promise, I derive relationships. Um, <clears throat> important. The way, we, the way we look at a relationship is also based upon how we look and value our se- ourselves. Would you agree? Yeah. What I mean by that is if you say, yo, you know what? I'm stupid. I can't do nothing. Yo, this is the only point that I'm going to get to. Yeah, my mother told me, you know, you know, I'm only, you know, good for laying on my back and making babies. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah, I'm going to be the fifth generation on welfare because that's just what we do. You know what I'm saying? And whatever, you, your level of expectancy is here then it's easy for you to fall into this here and accept this. But if your level of expectancy is, yo, you know what? I don't care if my mother had me at 14 or 13 or 12. I don't, matter of fact, I don't even care if my mother's a crackhead. That was her decision. This is going to be, I'm going to do something better with myself. There's more out here. I've been given better opportunities. Um, I've heard the word then you'll only accept this here. I guess where I'm, where I'm trying to get to is once we start valuing what the word says about us and who we are, then we'll start looking at our relationships a little bit differently. We'll start, we'll start um, evaluating who we allow to come into our lives and who we allow to to enter into our lives? Yo, what is what is straight up? No, no, sir. Excuse me. What is what is your purpose? Um, you want yes, to see ten, ten, ten year plan written down. You might think I'm crazy, but I need I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not telling you tell a man that you're scared of the dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and rah rah, you ain't got to tell a girl you still live at home. But I mean, but. Not really, not really. What's your game plan? Um, Sometimes you don't realize a good book because we don't take the time out to open it up and read it. A lot of times we take a book and we say, oh, the cover looks good. Hmm. Maybe I'll take this home with me. It's only one thing you should buy like that. And you shouldn't be buying that. You should have read the back of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but in reading the back of it, that means that you took time out to read something. To stop and read something. You got some, some but somebody on but see, that's just skimming. That could but still, he got some knowledge. You got but some, some of that knowledge isn't good because some of the knowledge that you might get if it was something about books, 
it may come from no, the credits. Just, you know, it may come yeah. from the credits and it may not be all true. Mm-hmm. You have to try it yourself. That's just like movies. Mm-hmm. That's how they make trailers. They take the key points, <laughs> mm-hmm. put it together, put it together. And together. And so interesting. And like, and oh, I'm going to go spend that. Eleven dollars and fifty cents. Go to the movies and watch this. When you get there, it sucks. And it sucks. It's like and you're, and you're, it, and you're pissed off, <laughs> right? Because you paid all that money to go see. Because you paid all that money, you have now made an investment into something that was a waste of time. This is a good conversation. Salty about your investment. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> like you for next time this happens. Uh-uh. <laughs> so investments. Okay. Um, I could, man, I could set, set it better myself. Investments. And that's really, I get, yo. Okay. Anybody else, before I go on, anybody else had anything they wanted to say about the, the book, book scenario? <laughs> when dealing with an actual book, I like to read the last chapter. That's just me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm weird like that. I'll sit down and read the last chapter of the book. To make up your mind if you should read it. Yeah, or at least the last couple of pages of the last chapter just, just to see what I'm getting into. So you scam? Which goes back to, <laughs> yo, what is your game plan? Where, where are you going? Yeah, Where you are you right. going? With this. With this. You gotta write that down under the lesson and commitment. What do I need to write? Game, game plan. Game plan. Y'all got me sweating in here. <laughs> I need to take this coat off. Okay. So, no, really. Sir, ma'am, what is your game plan? Okay. Um, I see your Christian Louboutins, your red bottoms. They're real cute. You know what I'm saying? You're stepping in them. And if I'm wrong, wrong, yeah, I'm going to sit over there cool with my hood on, you know, checking you out. Yeah, that's your cover. Your cover looks real good. Your cover looks real good. But after a while, as you know, every book that you didn't kept for a while Come gets ahead. old and the cover starts ripping. Yeah. Do you still want it? Is it still readable? That's what I want. Is it still readable? Okay. Once that pretty cover has gone, page is ripping now. Page is ripping. This is why I need to know where you're going. Talk about it. Okay. I used to. I used to do that. I used to do that. When I taught, when I taught the high school class, um, high school class, I think it was the high school class. The high school class, I told them this. I say, yo, we all have our life. Life is like a play without a script, <laughs> or <clears throat> better yet, life is like a book. We all have a beginning and we all have an end. The fact of the matter is, is th- is this a question you gotta ask yourself? What kind of book am I writing for real? Am I writing a drama? Am I writing a nonfiction? And yo, when I'm gone, will anybody want to pick my book up and read it? And if if whoever you are committed to is not in- investing in you. To help you create that story that somebody else wants to to read, is it really worth it? Women, ladies, the Bible considers us helpmates. Men, what does the Bible consider y'all? Together, the two should become one and create something create something good. Would you agree? Shorty, every time we go out to the mall, you like, yo, can I get a dollar to get some fries? Can I get a dollar to get some fries? Can I get a dollar? Hey, yo, Shorty, can you spot me real quick? Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Hey, boo. 
Yeah, I saw these cute shoes. I mean, you got me. I know you like you seeing me stepping them. <laughs> Back, and it goes back to somebody said earlier, balance. But what you accept is going to be based on who you believe you are. It's very unread that you see stars with people who are not stars. Mm -hmm. It happens from time to time, but it's very rare. Why? They recognize their worth. Basically like their image. They recognize their worth. Do you think it's not strange that the two highly paid Singers are with each other. Beyonce and Jay Z. I be wondering what she's doing with him. Sometimes she gonna contaminate her gene pool. That's an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> but you know what? Yeah. Look where they at. Yeah. But still, them kids. It was. <laughs> it was. Yo, you know what? I might be a, I might be a little bit up I might be a little bit ahead of you. You might be right underneath me, but together we're gonna be right here. It should never be, yo, I'm right here, you right here, and baby I wanna be with you so bad that I'm gonna come right here. No. That's called compromise. You saying you should never compromise? Nah, she didn't that say that. That sounds like settling more than compromise. That sounds like settling. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the word. Thank you. Settling. That's settling. So, for like, in case of a woman, she got a doctorate, and this guy, he has, like, an associate. Is that settling? Not necessarily. No. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. You're looking at it because it's not, it's not about, material. it's not all about materialistic stuff. It's not. Because she can meet a, the same dude who's a doctor and he's a jerk. And he's beating on her. Right. That would be subtle. Because, in a sense, because, yo, you know what? I'm here. You here. I can only have somebody that's here. So, I don't care if you're beating me upside my head. We here. Mm. We bringing in the six figures. No amount of money's worth of beating. But, again... She hasn't recognized her worth. An author that has invested a lot of time, dedication, and commitment recognizes the worth of his investment and he's not just going to put his stuff on the shelf for any price. Y'all follow me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um, any comments? Anybody want to say anything? Recognize where someone goes into why you're still committed. Why are you still co Exactly. Because if you with that jerk and y'all both got doctorates, he's beating you up. You're only there because you're comfortable because you see that. That's the level where you need to be at. So I'm just gonna stick with this guy. If somebody's beating you up. You should not be comfortable. <laughs> but some for some people, that's all they know. Ooh, that's true. That's all they know, and they just stay there. That's so Fear sad. of the that's unknown. Mm -hmm. My daddy used to beat my mama. My granddaddy used to beat my grandmama, and this is how it is. A generational curse. Sad. And because I really don't know how life is like outside of that. This is now the norm for me. I'm a I'm a find a dude that does the same thing. And the one that don't, you wanna call him weak. <laughs> That's backwards. 
Isn't it? Yes. People slide to backwards sometimes. Isn't it? People come out of all kinds of situations. Well, that's how some guys do it. And like, oh, my dad. My mother, my well, yeah, I never heard, like, I never heard, like, a woman say, oh, I'm about to go find a dude. Not, not, not say it. Not say it. Not say it. Just do it. Yeah, but you know something? Out. Just do it. Like, Nike. Like, oh, yeah, he hates me. But he loved me deep down. It's okay. He only hits me because he loves me. <laughs> I kiss my sweetie with my fist. You attract. What you are. It's a team. You are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> no, right. No, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't. I can see how you spelled it. Right. Hey, you never been up there. Right. Okay. You you attract what you are. Would you agree? Sometimes. And, and this is this is not this is not this, I wrote this. This is not a, this is not a, this is what it is. I put this on the board for discussion. You, you attract what you are. What I you, think you attract you think? complimentary people. Like, I, uh, can. I think you attract how you carry yourself. <laughs> you okay. Like, if you carry okay. that attitude of that's all that I'm worth or that's all, you know, mm-hmm. that I'm good for, every now and then you, you see the same people popping up. You know, like the people with the same characteristics, the same no. same stuff going on. No. Uh huh. You know, they pop up, and it's just like, haven't I seen you before? I mean, right. I just dealt with you. It's like, but yeah, you, know. you again, you attract how you how you carry yourself. If you have low self esteem, them those people can see that. They see that from a mile away. Mm-hmm. They see that I can get away with this with you. Absolutely. If I tell That's you, just what right. I, if it's I, open for discussion. It's open for discussion. <laughs> if I if I tell you you look pretty, I think you might drop your drawers. That's true. Not all the time. And if I say it in a nice tone. But and if and if, if I you consistent, you consistent. Well, if you consistent, you can, if you consistent, you can you can make it pretty pretty far. Easy. Consistent, but, uh, say with a nice tone, do a little arm rubbing or whatever else. Well, yeah, yeah. But you know what? I mean, I know and I agree well, with that, but then it doesn't even always have to be touching. I mean, it could just it be. It doesn't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Shorty. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. That's okay. Come here. You guys are that camera. And you might get slapped on the butt. Party <laughs> wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure used to mess with in Miami, right? Oh, God. And so... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. So I, I, I'm bashful like the rest of y'all. So, uh, I'm on the phone with her, right? Yeah. And she's like, you know, when you come down here... When Somebody I'm, give me a scripture so we can support all of you. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know when you come Thank down you. here, you know, nothing's going to happen, right? How much you think nothing's going to happen? And we both laughed. <laughs> and if somebody said that to you and you laughed, it's like, yeah. Well, she's like that. No, she wouldn't like that. She would just both bust laughing. That's not me. Yeah. That's how you were going to have sex with a joke. That ain't true. Okay, you would keep your promise to yourself. Huh? How are you going to do that? That's how you would do it. See, you know what? In that same chick, you'll never make your wife. Mmm, maybe. She's kind of high maintenance. That's because. And that's same shit. You are going to make your wife. She was kind of high maintenance because I got I got back from the plane and she was like, "Why don't you call me yet?" I just got off the plane. I mean, I, I just got off the plane. But you just <laughs> did her. But I just got off the plane. <laughs> female takes things much differently than a dude does. Not every female is the same because you no. might have some. My boy, you do, and they just like, thank you, deuces. But you gonna have, most females are emotional people. They they they're built on emotion. Yeah. So you sure. gonna expect that? I gotta give her a call as soon as I get off the plane. Like, hey, I'm off the plane. I'm alive. Expect- she got a text. Some I mean, males are like that. It's expected. Some dudes are like that. I, I some, yes, I some males are so, like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are I the ones know. that. Don't nobody like. <laughs> 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 nah, that's not true. That nah, not true. Some girls like so, when a guy's 
I'm a, I'm I'm saying it's like yo. I see I got off the plane though. I'm, I mean, my boy ain't even come pick me up yet. I'm waiting for like my bags and stuff. Nah, I wouldn't even wait for my bags yet. I was checking my ATM. I was at the ATM checking my uh, my account and get a call. Like, why aren't you calling me yet? Just go off the plane. You mean I ain't call you yet? <laughs> I'm, I still feel like I'm in the air. I mean, I ain't get my bags. I met some dudes like that in college. I about to say yeah. Pe- people have met people like that. That's how people are. Right. Some people. So back to you attract what you are. Agree, disagree. Still up for discussion. We got Courtney. I I disagree. I'm all ears. We're all ears. You can't just put out I disagree. You got to give a... Oh, she, she, she said she agree first. You said it first. He okay. said I agree. I don't agree with that, man. What you agree? What you said to comment first. Go yeah. ahead. Give me, a, give me your reasoning. All right. Boom. Slow <laughs> 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 <laughs>